okay this is our fifth session on qgis for beginner tutorial so in this video we'll learn about digitization in qgis so for this case we'll be using okay, we'll be creating a shape file okay creating point line and polygon so okay we'll be using google satellite imagery as a base layer and we'll digitize on the basis of that imagery so let's start digitization okay so i have this google satellite imagery base layer here so i have previously taught about how to add this xyz tiles in our qgis layer so we'll add this google satellite here and then we'll go to somewhere we can create a layer okay so we have this imagery okay this imagery is quite blur but we can work on this okay so for the digitization we basically use three data one is point another is polygon and another is line so point data may be useful in determining uh, showing the point data maybe with any location any hospital school sector so point data may be uh, that and then polygon polygon might be useful in denoting this uh, maybe in this case we will denote polygon data. use polygon data to define this uh, building boundary okay boundary of the school and then maybe agricultural area and uh, okay administrative boundary or anything and then line line might be useful in uh, defining this uh, road and then uh, uh, maybe river stream okay uh, so what we have to do is we have to first create a shape file three shape file one might one must be on point another must be on polygon and another must be on line so for the creating shape file we'll uh, we have this option here a new shape file layer so click on this and then here you can write as save file layer as okay first you have to save this save file in okay i will save this here okay i will save this as uh, point 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 save and then geometry type will be point and if, okay if you want to add some more uh, field okay this is our uh, default field if you want to add more field then you can add uh, that field also so in this case i will add as a field name as name so it will be a text data and then length will be okay it is good okay and then i will add yes okay this is the point data and then after that i will add a new say file layer and it will be line for this case uh, geometry uh, I, will, I must save this as line and then save yes sorry okay and this will just be okay line save and then geometry type will be line and then i will also add a new field as line and then okay and after that i'll create a new save file which will be uh, polygon polygon okay i'll save this and it will be a polygon and i'll create a name as a new field and text data and then length will be 80 okay so now what we can do is we can add a point so for point we what we need to do is we okay let me uh, give a name to this joint name so what we will give i will give the joint so for this case okay this joint will be point data so for uh, i click on this point and then you can see here this option toggle editing or you can go directly from right click and then toggle editing so i'll do this and then you can see these two options enabled so this is the add point feature and then a vertex tool so we'll use this add point feature so click on this and then go to this and click on okay one uh, click one time here so then you can see id is equals to okay so i'll give this as id is equals to one so okay after this if you want to save then go to 
here as save layer edits okay this is now this point is saved okay after this what we'll do is we'll go to uh, okay in the avalt editing mode, mode also and then go to open attribute table so inside open attribute table you can see id so what you want to do is okay if you want to add this add a new field you can do as edit toggle mode and then here you can see okay new field as maybe name and then no, it will be text and then length will be maybe 50 i will do after this okay click okay so what i will do is okay it will be joint so if after this uh, next time you create a new point it will automatically okay and automatically create a new field so let me show you okay click on this and then okay see id is equals to 2 and then value is equals to joint another joint maybe another joint okay so this is how we can add point in data so okay after this uh, you can click on this to save and then toggle editing mode okay. uh, finish the toggle editing mode okay after this what we, are, we can do is we can uh, change the symbology of this point okay maybe you can click here apply and then change okay this is the symbology okay now after this what we'll do is we'll create a line so for this uh, click on this line and then enable toggle editing mode and then you can see add a line feature here so after this let me create a line and at last click right option right button and then i will give one id okay so similarly for uh, uh, creating a new field go to open attribute table create a new field from here and add the field details so similarly for okay so i will save this and then it it uh, finish this tower editing mode for polygon okay go to this similarly click on this as toggle editing mode and then here you can see add a polygon feature okay after this i will go to okay, select the four corner of this building one two three and then four okay and at the last click on uh, click right button on your mouse and then give one so okay this is how we can add point line and polygon data in our qgis project so okay, i'll save this and i'll finish the toggle editing mode and if you want to change the symbology you can go with any symbol from here okay this will change the symbology okay so if you want to change the symbology of line go to properties and then you have you can change the width also width length also okay so with i have changed the width so this is how you can create a uh, you can digitize imagery using qgis so this concludes our fifth session on digitization in qgis so in the next session we'll learn about geo referencing